Welcome back, guys. In this question, we'll be talking about binary operation. Let's look at this question, which is commonly said by Jump. If a binary operation asterisk is defined by x asterisk y, which is equal to x plus 2y, find 2 asterisk into 3 asterisk 4. Now, the first thing to do when you come across this type of question is to solve whatever you have in the bracket first. Now, let's solve 3 asterisk 4. Solving this means this is going to be your x, then the other is going to be your y. After solving this, you can make this x and then the other, that's what you have here as your result to be the y. So let's move on. x is 3. That's going to be 3 plus 2 multiplied by y is 4. And 2 multiplied by 4, that is going to give us 3 plus 8, which results to 11. Now you can see that this has already been resolved into 11. We can rewrite the operation to be 2 asterisk 11. Now this is going to be my x, then this is going to be my y. So I'm going to resubstitute that into the operation given to us, which has been defined. So I'm going to have 2 plus 2 multiplied by 11. And we have 2 plus 2 multiplied by 11. That is going to result to 22. And we are going to have 2 multiplied by 2 plus 22. That is going to give us 24 as the result. Now, we are going to be checking on another question. So stay calm and let's go. Yeah. In this class of study, we'll be looking or checking on combination. Now, we all know that combination deals with selection of objects, but here we are just to evaluate. Evaluate n plus 1 combination n minus 2 if n equal to 15. The first thing that should come to our mind is that what's the formula for combination? For us to solve for combination, n combination r, we have that to be n factorial over n minus r factorial then r factorial this is the formula to solve for combination but in this case we are being given n to be 15 so we need to substitute and that is going to be 15 plus 1 combined with 15 minus 2 and that is going to give us 15 plus 1 that is going to be 16 combined with 15 minus 2 and that is going to be 13 Substituting this into the formula, we are going to have 16 combination 13 to be equal to 16 factorial over 16 minus 13 factorial, then we have 13 factorial. Therefore, we are going to have 16 factorial over 16 minus 13, that is going to be 3 factorial, then 13 factorial now in some question this is going to be the end of it why some they can simplify it further so if they simplify it further this is what you are going to have 16 factorial over 3 factorial well for this 16 we need to simplify it to the 13 so we have 13 factorial and that's going to be sorry that's going to be 16 multiplied by 15 multiply by 14 multiply by 13 factorial why i'm doing this is for this 13 to be able to cancel out this 13 so this strike this out so what do i have in that case 3 factorial is 3 times 2 and that's going to give us what 6 so now i'm going to have 16 multiplied by 15 multiplied by 14 over 3 times 2 now, 3 here, that's going to be 1. 3 in 15, that's going to be 5. 2 here, that's going to be 1. 2 in 16, that's going to be 18. Now, this is going to be simple to do because five mul 8 multiplied by 5, that's going to give us 40 multiplied by 14. Now, let's quickly do the calculation at the rough side. 14 multiplied by 14, that's going to be 0. 4 times 4, 16, 0, 4. When we sum up everything, we should have 560 ways or whatever 
he has to calculate. Remember, I told you that if they simplify it further, you can do this. But if they don't, you'll see this answer at the end of it. Thank you. Let's check another question out.